Well, the Olympic Games are set in August 8th, but the Paralympic Games begin later this month, featuring around 4,400 athletes with a range of disabilities. Our Cordero McMurray shares the story of a local Paralympian who is taking her shot at the gold this year. Her name is Jillian Williams from Odom, Texas. She graduated from Sinton High School in 2015 and went on to play volleyball at Texas Lutheran University in Seguin. It was in 2016 she found out she had bone cancer, a diagnosis she thought would end her athletic career, until she found a new sport that's just as challenging but familiar at heart. Sitting volleyball, it is essentially like standing except you're sitting on the ground. We don't use wheelchairs. Sitting volleyball is a sport specifically for athletes with physical disabilities. Jillian Williams says most of her teammates don't have a limb, either a leg, an arm, or a birth defect. Me, I'm an amputee. I, was, I had bone cancer in 2016, had my leg amputated. And I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a rare pediatric bone cancer. It's technically a soft tissue sarcoma, um, but it does present itself in bones quite often. And so mine was in my left distal femur. Williams said she thought she would never play volleyball again, but wanted to stay active. It wasn't until she was at a skeet shooting tournament, someone had mentioned sitting volleyball. And since 2017, Williams fell in love with the sport. It's kind of an inspiration. I mean, she's always been the better the athlete out of the two of us. So what is the difference between sitting volleyball and standing? The court is smaller. The net is a lot lower. You're sitting on the ground. Other than that, all the rules are pretty much the same. You can block a serve. Okay. Okay. And then one butt cheek or from your bottom to your, like your torso has to be in contact with the ground when you're contacting the ball. Williams says she is proud and excited to represent the Coastal Bend, Texas, and the U.S. on one of sports' biggest stages. When I lose, we're behind her and we're just proud of, you know, what she's done and the four short years now. I think for me, it's also a humbling experience because volleyball has been taken away from me and so it reminds me that like I need to be even more grateful for the opportunity that I have now because at one point it wasn't here. The Paralympics are also hosted in Tokyo and begin August 24th. You can watch number 11 Jillian Williams and her team on August 27th. We'll be rooting for you here in the Coastal Bend and Jillian Williams go ahead and bring home the gold. Reporting in studio, I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, 6 News.